Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. We're going to do another Lightroom tutorial in today's episode. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the histogram. And the histogram is this area here, the top right-hand portion of your screen. And you can see it's got peaks and troughs. And this is a visual representation of exactly what's going on in the image you've got open. Now, I've opened this image up from Paris from a few years ago. And it has some issues. There's areas that are too dark and there are areas that are too light. And we can see this by the histogram. At this end here, this represents the, the, the blacks within the image. And you can see here we've got a large peak. If we hover the cursor over, you can see it says at the bottom there, blacks. And that's saying that this area represents the blacks within the image. And as you can see, we have a large peak which shows that the blacks are very dark. If we start to move across to the right here, the next area here is the shadows. And this is the shadow area of the image. And again, we've got a fair amount of information there um, showing that the shadows are also quite dark. Coming across again to the right, we now move into the area which is marked as exposure. And as you can see here, this is very flat. There's not much information here showing that the, we could do something to bring more information into the exposure for this image. The next section along is highlights. And uh, again, we've got quite a lot of information here in the highlights. Uh, that would be represented in the image by parts of the sky. And the last area here is the whites. So at the far right hand side here is the whites within the image. And again, we have a lot of information here. So looking at our histogram, we can see that we have a lot of information in the whites and the highlights, not much information in the exposure, a little bit of information in the shadows, and a lot of information in the blacks. Now, what we can do, we can actually adjust this image just by using the histogram. If I stay in the area here that says blacks and I click and drag, if I click and drag this to the left, and if we watch the image, the blacks are getting even more solid. We're losing a lot more detail in the blacks. If I start to bring it to the right hand side, you can see that the, the image is starting to lighten up, but just in the area that the blacks are affecting. So let's go to about there on that. Let's move our cursor along to the next area, which is the shadows. And again, you can see we've got a lot of information there. If we bring, start to bring the shadows area to the left, that's going to darken it down. If we start to bring it to the right, that's going to start to bring out some details in the shadow. So let's do that. Let's bring that up to there. OK, let's stop there for a second and have a look what we've actually done. By moving the blacks and the shadows, we've actually lightened up all of these areas within the image. If I press the black backslash key, that's what our image looked like beforehand. That's what it looks like now we've moved those two parts of the histogram. So all I've moved here is the, the area that says the blacks, I've moved that to the right to uh, lighten up the blacks, and the area that says the shadows, I've also moved that to the right to bring out more detail in the shadows. So let's come across the next section, which is exposure. Now, if we move the exposure to the right, you can see that it's lightening the image up. And if we move it to the left, you can see it's darkening it down. So I think for this image, what we want to do is we want to bring the exposure down a little bit. And you can see now it's starting to bring out a lot more detail in the color of the sky than we had before. So we'll bring that down to about there. Uh, and again, see, because the, the exposure is working on mainly the mid-tones, it has a, had an effect again on the shadows and the highlights. But we can adjust that again in a moment. For now, we'll just leave that as it is. Let's move along to the next section here. And the next section here is our highlights. Now, if we drag our highlights to the right, you can see that it's starting to brighten up the sky again. If we bring it to the left, you can see it's starting to darken it down and bring more detail into it. Let's bring it back to there. If you look at this area here on the image where the, there's some clouds in the sky, if I start to drag that to the left, you can start to see that we're getting a lot more detail in that area of the sky. So let's go to the far end now, which is our whites. And you can see now, because we've moved the highlights, we don't have as much information in this area now. So let's click and drag on the whites. If we bring that to the right hand side, it's going to make the whites brighter. If we bring it to the left hand side, it's going to make the, the whites darker. So 
So let's leave it there for a second. So let's just pass the backslash key. This is where our image started off. And now with just a few moves using the histogram, you can see that we've brought out more detail in the shadow areas. We've uh, brought color back into the sky and lessened some of the highlights out. Now to show you exactly what is going on here, as you can see, I've got none of the panels open here. If I open our basic panel, you can see now that these would have all been, when we started, these would have all been set to zero. And you can see now that everything from the everything we've adjusted has moved. The exposure has moved, the highlights have moved, the shadows has moved, the whites have moved, and the blacks have moved. So if I now go back to the histogram with this panel open and just go to the central area that says exposure, while I'm clicking and dragging that, watch the exposure slider here. So if I click and drag that, you can see that it's dragging the exposure slider. So without actually using anything in the basic panel, just working with the histogram, we can actually start to make changes within our basic panel just by using the histogram. And let's come back to the shadows area. And I think we want to open our shadows up a bit more. And you can see as I move this, the shadow slider here is moving. As I, as I move the shadows area on the histogram, the shadow slider is moving there. So let's bring the shadows up. So we're getting more detail. And you can see now that the shadow slider has moved right the way up to 92. Let's go down to the blacks. And you can see the blacks here are at plus 18. I think we can actually bring that back a little touch as well. And what we're actually looking for here with most images is to have a, a balanced histogram so that, that there is information all across this mountain range of uh, this diagram. You don't want it so that there, there's everything's up at one end in the blacks or everything's up at one end in the whites or indeed everything's up at one end uh, in, in the central area. You kind of want information all the way across. It varies from image to image. Each image you use will have a different histogram depending on what's in it. This image happens to have a lot of shadows and a lot of highlights. So we, we've got a lot of things to work on. So let's go back to our highlights here. And let's drag our highlights down a touch. And you can see now we're bringing more information into the sky and we're moving our highlight slider here. And we'll grab our white slider as well and we'll drag that slightly down as well. Okay, so I think that from where we started, let's press the backslash key and that'll give us a before and after. That was where the image started and that's where we've got to now. And all of these adjustments I've done just by working within the histogram. And you can see now that the histogram, where we started, we had a massive peak here in the blacks and the shadows and a massive peak here in the whites and the highlights and not much information in the exposure in the middle. And you can see now that we've got more information across the entire histogram. Now, another thing you can do with the histogram um, is to help you decide where things are pure black or pure white. Up in the top corner here, we have a little arrow. If I click that little arrow, what that's going to do now is that will show us areas that are pure black. If I drag the black slider back towards this end, you can see now that certain areas are starting to come with a blue mask over it. And what that's telling us is that those areas are pure black, that you are now not showing any information within those areas. They are absolutely pure black. So by having that clipping mask on, you can start to see where areas you have that are pure black. And yes, in some images you want an, air, an amount of black within the thing, but I'm just going to take it to the point where none of that shows. So that it's just very lightly showing there. And there, we've gone. So there we go, we've now set our black point, And you can see by the histogram that the peak touches the far end. So that's telling us that, that we have pure blacks within that image, but we haven't gone to the point where we've crushed them and there's no detail at all. So let's turn that triangle off. And if we come to the opposite end here, we have another triangle. And this will show us where our pure whites are. And as soon as I've clipped that, you can see that we have some red areas in the sky there where the sun's shining through 
that are showing as pure white. So let's drag our histogram across. And it's not, you know, it's not a bad idea sometimes to have pure whites and pure blacks, but you don't want them too much. So let's go to just about there. We've got a couple of dots left, but that's that's fine. That's exactly where the sun is setting there. So we'll take our clipping mask off. And you can see now by our histogram that at the, this end where it says blacks, we're touching the end there, so we have black information. And at the this end here, we're touching the end there, so we have white information as well. And all of this we've done just by using the histogram. And again, the histogram is, all, is, is a visual representation of your image. It's almost like as if you were flying by instruments, flying a plane. As opposed to you know, um, you watching what you're doing, you're using this as a, as a guide and a reference to what is actually going on within your image. So let me just press the, backspace, if I press the backslash key, that will show us the before. So that's where our image started. And just by using the histogram and moving, I didn't move any of these sliders independently, I moved it all within the histogram here. We'll press the backslash key again, and that's where we've got our image too. And I think you'll agree, we've made a huge difference from the previous image where it was too many highlights, too many shadows, too many dark areas, to a much more balanced and detailed image. So that's basically how you can use the histogram within your images. As I said, each image will be different. Each image will have a different uh, layer, a different set of mountain ranges uh, within the, the histogram, but this will tell you the information that is in your images. This end is the blacks, then you've got the shadows, in the middle you've got the exposure, next you've got your highlights, and at the far right hand side you've got the whites for your image. So there you go, I hope that helped. I'm Dave Vickers, this is The Photo Show, Thanks for watching. See you next time.